takes it to the rack and scores off the left hand. The coach gets, eject, gets ejected after two to him, or her, as it may be, as Johnson scores again. He's got a chip on his shoulder right now. Made it look like things were clicking. Yeah. Certainly one of a number of teams who have come up short against the Kings this season, particularly at home, and Gak tips it. For a really extended period during free agency, but I think he's a guy who has an ability as Cadiz nails the step back. Tan Mays winds that clock down. Eight second differential between game and shot clock. Got Gak up in the air. That's wonderful. Tucker going to work on Krebs. Too strong. Oh, he's the other guy. He's lead. Missing out. Back out for Barlow. And he drains the three. Dave Barlow. It's been a welcome return this afternoon. Here's the Amy replay. Dave Barlow has been doing that for a very, very long time in this league. A depleted South East Melbourne, we should add. Mm -hmm. Golding lays it up. Good time now, Greg Vanderjack. Right, knocks it out of the hands of Golding. Nine on the shot clock. They play back through him. Oh, oh my! <laughs> wow. Look at that. Third quarter scoring from Melbourne, 26 to 12. And third quarters this season have been a problem for them. Jumper, DJ Mitchell. Harlow took it to the rack. And Humphreys had it, but then lost the ball. The bullets charge forward. Mitchell on the alley oop. Oh my! Hammers that thing down with authority. And this time, a great pass and a finish with the N1. Shayili goes up. To force the error. And Tucker. Wants to get to the other end quick. Nice pass inside for Marcus Lee. Attacks the D, draws the help. Finds the big fella underneath. Makes a run of 13 straight. There's two for Rattan Mace. You won't have to wait long. We've got a double header on Wednesday. Golding the fine for Marcus Lee. And triplet with a late three to try and finish it off. They cannot afford a slip up between now and the end of the season, Melbourne.